with Sir Miles. Sir Miles is just chilling. He just chill. Stop it. It's always nice being able to walk outside and have a nice view. With like mountains and shit, it's always cool, dude. It's the only good thing about California is obviously the weather and where you're at. Only place in the United States where you can surf, ski, and hike, all in the same two hours. Today's outdoor activity or outdoor workout is just walking because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, bro, my legs are fucking shot. And I don't think I should just keep on, I don't think I should run every day if I'm trying to actually go for some, some distance because how would that make sense? So I'm just gonna be walking for, I don't know, probably an hour. We'll see, I got my, uh, I got my Garmin on, so we'll see how long I actually walk. It's good for the dogs too. Cause usually, I'm not gonna lie, when I walk these guys, it's like up and down the neighborhood, but you know, we're actually gonna walk outside and kind of do the same route that we did yesterday. I brought my camera out here, obviously. No phone though. It's kind of nice to, uh, you know, being on your phone all day. Like my screen time is, is horrid. If it wasn't my job, I would definitely make it a part of 75 hard to put my screen, make my screen time go lower. Mine's literally like 11 hours a day, which I don't know about you guys, 11 hours is pretty, is pretty embarrassing. She's locked in on baby right now. But yeah, 11 hour screen time, not ideal. So it's nice to just disconnect, you know, if I, if I leave the house and I just leave my phone back, at least for me, like I get a little bit of anxiety when I don't have my phone. Look, our generation, We've had phones for 10 years. So when you have, when you, when you don't, when you're leaving your, your shelter, right? Let's think about it like a caveman. You're leaving your shelter without half your brain. It's like a little laptop in your pocket. I don't even know what I'm saying to be honest, guys. Just talking about disconnecting it a little bit. What is that? You guys see that? Is that a bird? Dude, I have no idea. Or is it a balloon? It's, it's freaking me out. I think when I do these walks, I'm gonna just yap, you know? So it's just gonna be my, my me time with you guys. A little update on my, on my yard. They, they're saying, I told them try to get it done by May, but they're thinking June, which tells me with how things have been going, that means July. So the backyard and the front yard should be done by July. In the grand scheme of things, isn't that far away, but it's just been so long. They've been working on it since last fall. Saw some comments, people were like, yo, where's the Porsche? If you haven't been following on my other socials, the Porsche, I've been trying to sell it only because it's time for something new. Cause you guys know me, and ain't shit's changed. I get bored of cars quick, I got bored of it. But I will say that car is probably the best car that I've owned, the 4RS. It's the best car hands down that I've owned in terms of sound, feel, looks, Actually, I think the AMG GTR looked, I think that look is pretty. That AMG GTR, I've said this before, the girls love that car, bro. I don't know if it was the color or the Mercedes logo or what, but that car, you would drive it around, bro, and girls' heads would turn, and guys too, because that's fucking, a lot of kids, a lot of Europe, <laughs> European kids, and also I guess Americans have that car on their poster in their wall or whatever, but yeah, that AMG GTR, great car. GT4 RS, insane car. Definitely the best driving car that I've had, best sounding car that I've had. The only thing is, is that it's a little slow because you know, it's a track car. It's a little bit slow. Selling it, looking to get something new. We have a couple of cars that I'm looking at, but I don't want to tell you guys anything until anything's official because this shit always falls through. You guys know how it is. TRX though, my truck. I love the truck. I wish I would have got one sooner because it's just so convenient. You know, you can just jump in. You're not worried about shit. The only thing is it's a little big. That might give you a hint of what I want next. The 4RS was just too much of a race car. I couldn't drive it as much as I wanted to. So I'll give you guys a hint. I'm looking to get something a little bit more casual, a little bit faster, a little bit more luxurious. So maybe you guys can guess in the comments. All right, we've been walking for 10 minutes. I have gone half a mile. An hour would be three miles, which is a pretty good walk. That's a decent walk. All right, we'll see you guys in a sec. What are you gonna do about it, Tequila? Oh shit. I don't think they see. Oh my little Get him. Get him. 
I mean, you didn't even see him. Look how long this shit is. I do appreciate this challenge in the sense that it's making me be outside more because that's something that I've been missing. Besides golf, I'm never outside. And I feel like as humans, we need to be. Need that sun on you, even though I'm fully clothed. But just uh, being outside is a good feeling. Out in the fresh air, that morning cold breath, you know? After your coffee, soup. Shout out to Daddy Wellness. Uh, oh, not that way. Use your brain. Use your brain. Come on, Tequila. Come on, Tequila. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Tequila. Come on, this way. Come on, baby. I found a little trail. Hopefully there's no rattlesnakes. But it's like a bridge that I've never seen before. By the way, I did one mile in 20 minutes. So that's the pace. A little bridge. Oh, I thought it was going to be like into the mountains. It's literally just over the road. That's pretty lame. But oh, we got sick ass views. So my, my house is back there. So those are like the mountains behind me, in my backyard. Which is pretty sick. Honestly, it's really, let me take this in for a sec. Really beautiful. As much as California does suck, I'll say it every time. Fucking nicest weather in the world. That's why everyone wants to live here. So he's just always thinking something. Like Milo, you can tell he's pretty, he's kind of a dunce. Like, he's just sniffing, he's pissing, he's barking. Versus her, she, you can tell she's always like, she's always up to something. And I think that's just girl dogs in general, not just Dobermans. I truly do feel like dogs are just like the most basic human, like they have the most basic human characteristics. Male dogs, what do male dogs do? They're protective, they, sh they shit, they piss, and they fuck. That's all they want to do, and they eat. That's all they want to do. Females, female dogs, they're, they're bitches. That's why they say, that's why we call girls bitches when they're mean, because female dogs are bitches. They're stubborn, they're really stubborn, they want to fucking argue, they don't listen, and they're the boss. Whatever they say goes, and that's literally how it is in real life. That's how it is in, in, <laughs> in real humans. So I like to compare dogs as just the basic, most entry-level human there is, you know, the caveman style. Yeah, that's something that I learned when I got tequila. Because female dogs are way different than, than boys. And I know if you guys have had both, then you know. All right, made it up the hill. We're at 43, 43 minutes, 2.18 miles. So, good walk. Definitely the longest walk that I've been on with these guys, so. So I'm gonna go inside, eat breakfast, and then we have a photo shoot today. So, breakfast, photo shoot, and then gym. We'll see where, we'll see where the day takes us. All right, very quick progress report. Still haven't eaten anything. I'm about to go downstairs and eat breakfast. Ain't shit's changed. Ooh. Ain't shit's changed. I do feel a little bit more fuller just because I'm starting to work out now. And I think I'm getting better uh, macros and like more carbs and shit. You just see like my chest, but obviously still fat as shit. Hop on scale. So it says 200 which would mean that we lost a pound and a half, probably just because I already went on a walk, so I sweat a little bit. Dude, if I can get down to like 190 and I was like good shape, that'd be great. Even though I'm, I know that's lightweight, but for my height, but I'm not trying to be like fucking jacked, you know, I'm trying to be fit. All right, we are out of bacon. My fat ass ate it all, so we got five eggs instead of four, and then we've got seven and a half ounces of Rice. If you guys haven't tried rice with eggs, it's literally the easiest breakfast ever. It's good, it's easy to count, it's easy to eat, it's easy on the stomach. That's why I eat it so much. It's gotta be pasture raised though. You get the orange yolk. Or you raise your own chickens. Look at that here. 529. Not too bad. 529, I mean it's bad, but. Bro, this is the slowest thing ever. Say like, what's up, friend? Got a young LA photo shoot like I was saying. Hi, I have an appointment today at 3 p.m. and I was calling to see if there was any way I could push it back just a little bit. Pablo? <laughs> Hi YouTube, my introduction was rude earlier, I'm think? so sorry. What? Do you think we're on day three of the dial, what do you think? Well, at first, because I told him not to do it because I didn't believe in him. 
Because I'm selfish. Wait, you didn't believe in me? No, 75 days of video straight is crazy. People start vlogmas and they quit like 10 days in. Because in the beginning, it's so easy to be like, oh my god, yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, but what kind of person? And then the motivation but, leaves. But did you ever quit vlogmas? I didn't start vlogmas. Here, when I, when I talk, you have to point it towards me, and then when you talk, you point it back. That's but you weren't you you were you weren't really saying anything. I was just talking. You're just trying to steal the spotlight. Okay, go. No, people who okay, do anyways. vlogmas. <laughs> people who do vlogmas. Yeah. What kind of person does that make you to say you're gonna do something and then you don't do it? That makes you a fucking bitch. Because that... there's one thing about me, and I said this in the first episode. I was like, if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna fucking do it. Like, it's simple as that. Because I'm. I'm sure <laughs> every single person on the planet has made a promise. That they haven't kept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I'm saying in terms of like, if you're gonna put it out there in the world for like people to see, like thousands yeah. of people to see, because if you just lie to like your boy or <laughs> your like, it's not that big of a deal because you're only lying to one person. No. But if you're gonna like quit on twenty thousand people, yeah, at this point, that's mass, crazy. Masses. That's crazy. Just honestly, just don't think about what's ahead. Like how much you have left. Just think about the day ahead. Yeah. Because I feel like if you, I'm oh, just, oh. I'm just not even gonna like. Yes, I'm gonna put it in the title, like what day it is, but I'm gonna just be like, yo, I'm doing this shit. It doesn't matter what day it is, mm -hmm. you know? Another day, another dollar. Let's go. We're in fucking the shittiest area ever. I'm gonna just drive around until yeah. these guys are like, yo, where are you at? I'm like, I'm trying to find parking. I'm an island boy. Yo, Beans. Yo. Dude, we saw a naked tweaker. Dude, she was naked? I didn't see that. Yeah, we walked right by her. So you probably see her over here. Oh, there she is. Yo, she's over there. Don't do drugs. Husky, so it's like not as bad as a husky. That's the only thing I Should we put her in the video? Look, Gav. Gav's one of the guys who's like, bro, get on YouTube again. I was like, I bet. I've been telling him for a minute. Yeah, he's been saying it. So I'd say a minute, bro. He just texted me this morning. Who? This morning I'm ready for the vlog, but James asked me what camera you should get from Mockhouse. James texted me today and he was like, yo, do you want to do a, a pod, a reunion pod? And I was like, yeah, I'm down. So I think we're going to try to set it up. We just don't, we don't have a, we don't have a location yet because there's no like closed in space. Yeah, but like you, but it, it, it needs to be consistent. And also I'm, I'm probably not going to be on every episode. So it can't be at my house unless he pays rent or something. He can rent out the spot. You gotta hop back on the YouTube grind. You fuck with this? Yeah. Styled it myself. Almost cut the pocket, cut, for, forgot that. It, and then you also cut the sides too. And this happened naturally, it's pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's good. Oh shit. Hey. Hey, you lost, bro? <laughs> <laughs> they be buying shoes for the photo shoots. These are the Solomon ACS Pro. Every time I put them on, I love them so I'm finally just gonna buy a pair so I have them for myself they're insane they're so comfortable and they just look super cool and if you're a little bit shorter they're platform as well so they give you like an inch extra so for my short kings out there Solomon ACS Pro they're 230 so they're a little bit steep there's a regular ACS not the pro that's 130 I think or 160 but get them you got a little Belgian Malinois, Malinis, craziest puppies ever. <laughs> Look at him. These are Joe Andrews. This is not my dog. Lancer. Hi. You're crazy. Fresh cut. Crazy. Okay. Okay. Where's his sister? Yay. All right, finished up, headed back home. Of course, one hour drive, which will probably end up being closer to like an hour and a half. But I'm gonna eat a little lunch, make some pre, and then go work out. Probably don't have time to go to the office today. I'm gonna call in sick, because I need to record. I need to record a workout. And it works out that way because my parents are leaving tomorrow as well, so I'll be able to spend some time with them. Comment down below if y'all fuck with it. The cyber fridge. It's all right. Looks like they, looks like they finished. We'll wait for that to dry tomorrow. Maybe it is dry. It's 
pretty cool. I'm sure you guys see the vision. There'll be like little lamps inside, a little lamp right there. It's gonna look nice. All right, eating lunch. Gonna go to the gym. It is 4.23. So we got two cups of rice, because I'm hungry, hungry, and egg, and then venison. Like I was saying, you guys gotta get on the venison. And we got citrus rain, one of my favorite flavors. And I'm finishing up my reading. So, smacking this, and then I think I'm gonna hit back. I might take a even, I may, I might even take a little bit of nitric for the pump, just so I know I get a good workout in, but we'll see. All right, quick, <clears throat> quick yap sesh on the way to the gym. I, I don't know if you guys could tell the clip prior to this when I was talking about the food, I was so tired. Like, I just got, we drove back an hour sitting in traffic, and traffic always just makes you, it just makes you tired. I don't know what it is about traffic, but no matter what, even if you're slamming energy drinks, it just makes you tired. We got back, I just had lunch, which you, see, which you guys saw, and I drank a energy drink, and I feel way better. I felt like absolute shit, I'm not gonna lie, but we're headed to, headed to the gym. Wanted to share something about the book. If you're reading The Four Agreements, I w if you're like not a good reader, yeah, if you're not a good reader, I would get this book because it's super easy, um, but it has what I've what I've heard is a really good message, but I was just reading and, and I'm on the part where they're talking about your word and how powerful like anyone's word is. Kind of like manifest manifesting a little bit. Like if you tell yourself something enough times, you're gonna fucking believe it. You know, if, if you're gonna say or do something or you're not gonna do something, if you do it enough times, you can you can do it. That's kind of what it's saying, which is redundant because everybody says that. You know what? Just read the book. Go fucking order the book. It's like 10, 10 bucks. Especially if you want an easy one, but everyone's skill I guess everyone's skill reading skill level is different So there were some people who were saying there's a 48 laws of power, but it's Concise version I think like it's not as literate which I might have to dive into that because like I said in the last video I could not I could not read it head of the gym 5 p.m. I think I'm training Yeah, I'm training back back and biceps. That's what I'm gonna do haven't done it yet since we got back from the trip so should be a decent workout plus i don't usually go to the gym at this hour so it's nice to like switch up i got some food in me as well because usually lately i've been going to the gym fasted which i want to stop like tomorrow i'll maybe even run with a little bit of food in my system as well because that makes such a big difference but it's just for some reason i don't like to eat in the morning so i don't really know what it is I'm gonna try, I'm gonna work on eating before my training sessions because I think that'll make, it'll make them a lot more enjoyable as well as I'll be able to do more shit. All right, so I'm not the only one here, which means I can't just turn down the music. So I'll probably just, we'll just throw a little NCS, put some random ass song on this. You don't even, you don't even have to take a long time to look for it. We're putting a random ass song, do a little back day. I just give me a quick workout, dude. 5.15 at least, we'll be out of here. 6, 15, 6, 30. So, hour 15.
definitely don't look good enough to be taking my shirt off and hitting sets, but that's exactly why I'm doing it, you know? So it's like motivation, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I thought I mentioned it yes in yesterday's video, but I guess not. My cycle for all of this is just TRT. So I'm just doing 200 milligrams a week. The little Rimidex, um, cause you know, gotta get the nips in control. But I won't be blasted because 75 dial is about optimizing health, being a, a superhuman, but also being healthy. Just TRT for me. And if there are any changes, I'll let you guys know. You guys always know. I'm always transparent about that shit. Ooh, especially being, being one of the OG steroid abusers. It's only fair that, I, that I'm fair with you guys. Or it's only fair that I'm truthful with you guys. But yeah, just TRT right now. But I think even that, like with the exercise, I think that, that's plenty. 200 milligrams a week is plenty. So I'll also get my blood done. Um, I just got them done recently and TRT was putting me at 750, which isn't great. But 200 milligrams a week sounds about right, but it's not great. Any more than that is kind of overkill. But I just know there's, it could be a lot higher. Dude, my back is pretty pumped though. I gotta stop li lifting with my phone. Cause I put my phone away and I'm having a great workout. Like I'm even breaking a sweat, which I usually don't do when I weight lift, especially when I'm alone. But I need to start putting my phone away because that just be killing your workout. I'm telling you, put your phone away. Title of this video. Put your phone away. Ah, oh, you guys see that gyno? My most lacking muscle reared out. I don't know why, but I just, I can never figure it out, dude. I can never get it right. Load it up, 170 pounds. Cause I really only feel it when it's heavy as shit. Like you're at the top of the rep and like you finally get that activation. So, we're gonna bang this out. Oh. Oh. Alright, that's pretty good. Stack on that bitch. This is my favorite, favorite preacher curl ever. All right, that's a warm up. That's a warm up. Don't worry. I'm going to failure next one. That was slight discomfort. We're going to failure. Pretty good, 
pretty good lift actually. Despite being super tired, really good lift. So it is 6.20 right now. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and pick up a couple of ribeyes for me to eat this week. Spend some time with my parents because their flight is at, f they're leaving at 4 a.m. They're leaving my house at 4 a.m. So tonight's my last night. So I'm gonna go home, spend some time with them, but they will be back in May to um, inspect the pool just because they wanna make sure the pool is looking good. My dad's been pretty invested in the project, so he's gonna come in May. They're gonna come back out and do some final touches on the house and stuff. I'm on my way back. This is gonna be a long video, so I gotta fucking quit yapping, dude. I'm gonna run out of shit to talk about by day 75. I kinda realized that each of these videos is just like a podcast. It's just like a one big podcast of like all my thoughts and then like also showing you guys what I'm doing as well. That's all these videos are. There ain't shit else today that's going on for me. I'm gonna go home, shower, like I said, spend time with my family. So I'm gonna end the video off here. We will see you tomorrow. This is day three of Dial 75, 75 Dialed. What is this shit called? 75 Dialed. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm funny. I'm funny. You, this is this is the best free, my channel is the best free content in, on the internet, I'm convinced. So, 75 Dialed, see you guys tomorrow. Bright and early, I'm taking Milo to the vet, so y'all can come with me. We're taking him to the vet. Thanks for watching, drop a comment. Drop a comment, see what day I'm gonna stop, see what day I'm gonna quit, or believe in me and say you're gonna do it all the way. We'll see you guys in the next one, I hope you're following along, I hope you're doing this shit as well. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.